part one of RGB, we're going to set up our initial source layer. We're going to use fill, we're going to use the marquee tool, and we're going to pick colors. So, and we're going to make a new file. New, I'm going to call it RGB, and you can use presets. But we're not going to. We make, we're going to set it up 640 width by 480 height. And please make sure it says pixels. If it doesn't say pixels, you're going to have a, can you imagine, 640 inches? And the background contents we want transparent. You can have white, the background color, which happens to be white and transparent. See, that's the background color, that's the foreground color. So I'm going to click OK. I am going to do a Save As. I want to save it into my, onto my desktop. And I'm inside the Karen folder. I want to go Desktop, New Folder, RGB, and I want to call it Karen Jostle RGB.psv It's in the RGB folder. Oh, I want it to say part one also. See how I clicked there? Part one. So I want it to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to double click. Here's the toolbar. Double click the magnifying glass. That's not big enough. But up here in the options bar, I have some choices. I want to go Fit screen, there, nice and big. So I'm going to go get the elliptical marquee tool. The marquee tool is under the move tool and it has four options. The elliptical will make a circle. The way to make a perfect circle is hold the shift key. There's circle one, RGB, red, green, blue. So I'm going to pull the right corner of the layers panel I'm going to double click the foreground ship to get my color picker. I'm going to move the slider all the way to the top. I've got a beautiful red. Click OK. I'm going to hit Edit Fill. Foreground, it says use foreground color. Make sure it says use foreground color. The default is content aware, so make sure it says foreground color. Click OK. Now, there's a special tool that moves just marching ants. Look at the end of my cursor. It's a white arrow with a square little dotted line. That's a different kind of move tool than the move tool in your toolbox. This is a move tool for marching ants. I'm going to move it over. I'm going to get blue. This time I'm going to go over here into the rainbow on the color panel and pick a blue. There we go. Edit, Fill, Foreground Color, OK. Again, I'm going to move the circle over. This time, I'm going to go straight to the Edit menu, straight to the Fill menu, and go use Color. And it brings up the color picker. And I should have done red, green, blue, but I did red, blue, green. That's OK. Click OK. And we picked green and there it is. Now to get rid of the marching ants you can just click off of here but a better habit is to deselect. Deselect it's under the drop down menu select. It's the second one command D on the Mac control V on the PC. Next I'm going to get the rectangular marquee tool. There it is. I'm going to make a rectangle and I need yellow. I'm going to go to swatches over here, pick a yellow. I'm going to go to edit fill and I'm going to get out of color back to foreground color. Click OK and then I'm going to command D to deselect. I'm going to name the layer source. And this is what I'm going to use as my source for the next part two, RGB part two.